Have you ever wondered how soon after death a funeral is held? It's a question that sooner or later we'll all face. Death after all is the one constant in our ever-changing world. It's a universal experience yet the way we deal with it varies greatly across cultures and societies. Funerals play a crucial role in this process. They provide a tangible way for us to say goodbye, to honor the departed, and to come together in our shared grief. But when exactly do they occur after a person's passing? Well, that's a bit more complicated. You see, the timing of a funeral isn't set in stone. It can be influenced by a multitude of factors. These can range from cultural and religious customs, to the wishes of the deceased and their family, logistical considerations, and even local laws. So, in short, the timing of a funeral can vary greatly depending on a number of factors. So, what exactly happens after a person dies that leads up to the funeral? It's a question that sparks curiosity and to some extent, unease. But knowing the process can bring a sense of understanding and peace. When someone passes away, the body is first examined by a coroner or medical examiner. Their role is to confirm the cause of death and in some instances perform an autopsy if required. Following this the body is transported to a funeral home. Here it is prepared for viewing and the eventual funeral. One of the key steps is embalming, a process that slows down the decomposition of the body. This involves replacing the body's natural fluids with a chemical solution. The body is then dressed and placed in a casket ready for the funeral service. This entire process from death to the funeral home can vary in length. It can take anywhere from a few hours to a few days to complete. Once the body has been prepared, the next step is planning the funeral. This is a process that involves several pivotal decisions and can be quite overwhelming. One of the first choices to make is selecting a funeral home. This establishment will guide you through the rest of the planning, offering support and guidance during a difficult time. Next, you'll need to decide between burial and cremation. This choice often depends on personal or religious beliefs, and each option carries its own set of considerations. If you opt for burial, the selection of a casket comes next. If cremation is chosen, you'll need to pick an urn. Both options offer a wide range of styles and prices to fit varying preferences and budgets. Finally, there's the arrangement of the funeral service itself. This includes deciding on the venue, choosing speakers, selecting music, and more. This process can also vary in length, but typically takes a few days. Finally, the funeral service is held. This solemn occasion is typically a gathering of family, friends, and well-wishers, all of whom come together to pay their respects and say their final goodbyes. The service may include eulogies, readings, music, and moments of silence, each element designed to honor the memory of the deceased. The timing of the funeral service is not set in stone. It can be influenced by a myriad of factors from religious beliefs and customs to the wishes of the family. Some faiths require a swift burial within a day or two of death, while others may allow for a longer period of mourning before the actual service. Additionally, the family's wishes and circumstances can play a significant role. They may choose to delay the service to allow distant relatives or friends the time to travel and attend. So, to answer the initial question, a funeral can be held anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks after death depending on various factors.